guys what is going on GB here and today Black Ops 2 has been officially announced yes indeed Call of Duty's new game made by Treyarch will be called Black Ops 2 I know folks what a surprise I don't know about you guys but I am definitely ready for a new Call of Duty game because well Modern Warfare 3 it's just uh how do I put this speaking of the devil Nice to see you again, Second Chance. We haven't spoken in a while. We all may recognize the obvious flaws within Modern Warfare 3, but Black Ops has plenty of its own. I actually thought that Treyarch was going to completely revolutionize and innovate the series once again as they have done in their past two titles. But they have chosen to go the cheap half-ass route and just make a sequel. I am obviously kidding guys, I am extraordinarily excited about this game and particularly this sequel because it's not just a Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. They are uniquely changing and innovating things. There is a completely new scene, completely new time frame and that's why I'm so excited about this game. Black Ops 2 is set in 2025 and is an extremely futuristic scene with military robots galore. Woods is retired and in a nursing home and seems to be having Cold War flashbacks while telling the story through narrative form. And if I have faith in anybody to make a successful futuristic game, my hands are going to Treyarch because they are simply just innovating and creating new things within the Call of Duty series that is simply remarkable because Modern Warfare 3 and Infinity Ward and the Modern Warfare series in general are simply rehashing and adding a little gun here and there, a little new game type here and there and it's simply not enough. One of the large reasons why I found Black Ops to be such a great game is that Treyarch is amazing at creating an eerie, mysterious Call of Duty game, namely through zombies, but as well through the Black Ops multiplayer in general. Speaking of multiplayer, we did get a very quick peek at one of the assault rifles within Black Ops 2, the XM8, and this was supposed to phase out the M16 and M4 carbine within the military, but it just never happened. Apparently though, the XM8 in 2025 is an absolute hit. Fail with an uppercase F. But for realsies though, the XM8 assault rifle is still being improved upon by its developers to this day. It can change anywhere from the assault rifle form to a long range light machine gun with a bipod for support fire and to a submachine gun. Of course, I don't think it'll be in Black Ops 2 such customization, but hey, who knows? Another really awesome thing in the Black Ops multiplayer as well as campaign and zombies is it had a really robust retro feel to it throughout the visuals and the sound. It just made me think of going to a nice diner and ordering a double cheeseburger with an ice cold mug of root beer. I don't know about you guys, you might think I'm a freaking creep. But I just love that retro feel that Black Ops did possess. Now back to multiplayer, there has been an immense amount of technological warfare displayed within the Black Ops 2 trailer that will most likely be in campaign but can very easily flow and translate into the multiplayer aspect. Some of these things include the tank that was within the trailer. I don't know if you guys may have seen this but it actually had four legs and could walk. I myself can see the absolute most badass multiplayer tank killstreak that can tear up anything in its path. And lastly, the new charged sniper rifle. We have not been given information whether or not this is a semi-automatic or bolt action rifle, but what we do know is through the optic one can see through walls and small objects. Now this looks absolutely amazing, the best camper prying out of their hole tool that I have ever seen on the face of the earth. Because the simple nature of this weapon is passive, I believe it could turn the tides of so many quick scopers who all they do is quick scope, they might be turned over to do a more passive and more tactical, quite honestly realistic version of sniping. 
Now, word on the street is... This weapon actually, the optic on it, is quite similar to infrared, but it obviously seems much more effective. It is going to be very interesting to see how Treyarch deals with sniping within Black Ops 2, because we know how sniping was in Black Ops. I actually enjoyed sniping the most in Black Ops. Now it wasn't on release date with all that crazy idle sway, but it was around August after the last patch. And now, without further ado, I'll let Fat Joe take it from here for the Huey. Now back to sniping, I hope that they will keep the sniping in Black Ops 2 from the final patch in Black Ops because I believe that was the perfect medium between so easy that anyone can do it and literally impossible. It was perfect because it took a decent amount of skill but it was still doable. And I cannot tell you how many times in Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 I get killed by a quickscoper. Another thing that Black Ops did great with sniping is that no perk or pro perk gives you a faster aim down sight. It was always the same, all the same. Wonderful. I cannot tell you how extremely obnoxious it is to get killed by every single six year old from South Dakota who thinks he's a McGrizzy Pants. Now some things I can already speculate to see may become issues in the Black Ops 2 multiplayer is the game might just simply be too complicated. Alright, with all this technology and everything, it might just be a bad version of Ghost Recon Future Soldier. W wait a second, there's a good version? Honestly though guys, this game might stray away way too far from the Call of Duty narrow bound. Now, I'm not saying they can't push the envelope and innovate, but they might just go too far. Which might not be a bad thing, but we will see guys, we will see. Now last, but definitely not least, Zombies is obviously making a return. This was one of the strongest aspects within Treyarch's Call of Duty games. Now, they have put 300 people behind the Zombies aspect of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now this looks awesome. They're also hinting at possible 8 players within one lobby. And this means bigger maps, more complicated maps, and a lot more to come, guys. I am really excited. Set your calendars, ladies and gentlemen, November 13th. That is about it, guys. I will see you next time. I'm GB, and I'm out. Baby, come up.